Hi everyone, this is Eric, and we'll come back with another MS Access tutorial video. In this video, you're going to hear more about queries. Last video, we talked about simple queries, and so and uh, so. If you haven't seen my vi other video, maybe it's somewhere around here, a related video or something like that, but. We're looking at today how to do more advanced MS Access queries. Uh, for instance, these are the topics we're going to cover uh, using advanced criteria, using wildcards like using wildcards, the like keyword, uh, less than, greater than, and, or, or is null. Um, that we're going to look at using multiple fields and criteria, using parameters in queries to make them more dynamic, and we're going to talk about our calculation discussion in more detail, uh, particularly aggregated rows and row by row calculations. Again, if hope you're getting value from these videos, make sure that you subscribe or like the video if you are. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and look at the queries. Um, I don't want these videos to be really long. So, just kind of a, a review. We have customers at Mexico. That's the one we did in the previous video. Okay, if I double click on it, all right, a query again is a set of records. So these are uh, the set of records of customers in Mexico. And if we add a new new customer from Mexico, uh, I am go. You're gonna you're gonna see them uh, in this list here, and I can make a list of customers from London or England or whatever. And again, this data is from data's data, and so th this data is coming from the Northwind database. So if you don't have that, come out to lowcomservices.com. Also, I have the database at vbahowto.com, so you can check it out. Probably download it from there as well, because I use a lot, again a lot of my examples I made. Okay, get, go ahead and put your own suggestion at, at the bottom. I get a lot of, uh, these are databases I'm familiar with. But, uh, so, let's move on using advanced criteria here. Using advanced criteria, let's say I have this data, I have customers, and I want to see what are the choices of customers I have. I could have... I need to see customers in Mexico, different countries. And again, this is my criteria row, and I'm putting Mexico here in my country. Okay. Well, what if I want more than one country? I can have, let's see, what are the choices I have here? I want to select customers in, um, in Canada. Or Germany, this or this. Pretty much, I right click and choose it, but it's not going to really save anything. It's not going to save it if I do a right click and choose filter uh, equals Canada. Okay, well that's nice, but I'd rather have a query that I can actually save. So I'm going to say Canada. Can. Uh, Okay, or and notice I'm okay to do the ors. I have to use the other line. The if everything's on one line, it's going to be an and. So um, and and I'm probably not. I'm not going to get anything for this. And Germany. Because the country has to be Canada and Germany at the same time. And there's nothing. It's nonsensical. So I have to put it as you. Uh, and here, if I run this, I'm going to get nothing. 
Okay. But if I put it on the line below, notice that here on the left side, your query, query by des, design editor, you have or. So if I can make Germany, and it's going to complain, you take it at the end. Germany or can, Canada or Germany. Now I'm going to get both here. Got to move my happy face away, and I'm going to hide this. And yeah, I have Canada and Germany. And actually, I want to sort these instead of well, I want to do a double sort. Let's see. Okay, so they sort. You get sorts from left to right. So we have uh, this column. I think is on is is further left than this column. As you can see on the screen, but I'm sure in the design editor you have the same thing. Yeah. So first sort is a contact title and customers. If I do that, then I'm going to have a sort by contact title and then by country. Well, if I don't want that, then I have to go ahead and add these fields again. So I do want to see them. So I have uh, want to sort first by country and by contact title. These are okay. And the trick here is that I don't show these. Don't show them here. I want to sort that. Double click. I can also click the drop down, but I choose. It's just faster if I double click these. Okay, if I double click again, or you could type it in, uh, type in here, or whatever, and take out these sorts here, delete, highlight that, delete. Now I should sort by, should sort by country first, and then contact title. See what happens. So, uh, making these smaller so I can see them on one screen. I don't want to see this. I'm hiding it. So, anyway, I have my country, Canada, Germany. That's my primary sword. And here are my Canadian people, contacts. Uh, my marketing assistant. I have, uh, and then these are sorted. That's my secondary sort. So hopefully you understood that. Don't rewind the video or make a comment in the description. Uh, comment in the comments below. Comment in the comments below. All right. So that is how you do a, a multiple field sort. And change the sort order, and also had to do an or in your in your criteria. So that's uh, a bit important. Okay, multiple fields and criteria. And okay, so <clears throat> if I want to narrow this down, just to uh, let's say I'm I'm trying to do some marketing, and I got to get to hold the marketing assistant because they could lead me into some bigger deals with the like the marketing manager, big name. So I just wanted to narrow this down. So contact title here. So let's see my contact title here. Marketing assistant. Okay, notice this. I have my marketing assistant as a contact title in Canada or everybody in Germany, okay? I want both marketing assistant in Canada or a marketing assistant in Germany. So I have double here. I have ands and I have ors. And it's two criteria. So here are my marketing assistants in Canada and Germany. Okay, so I have three of them I can look at look to I have to contact these people and maybe I'll get in touch with their marketing manager 
So that is good. That is really good. Okay. So let's talk about, and actually, uh, oh, these are not customers in Mexico anymore. So say marketing assistance. So the only file, and I want to save as, save object as. Okay, so I'm saving this as something else. Save as uh, QOI customers. And then these are marketing assistants. We'll take out my spaces. In marketing assistant in um, Canada or or Mexico. Okay. So good deal. Now, if I have a uh, new dealer, let's see. So I want to go into my a query that pre exists here. So I have uh, new dealers, one to th the 30,000. So I'm right clicking, I'm choosing design, and um, these are my new dealers. And actually, uh, notice this. And that means that the table is gone. So I don't want that because the table is gone here. Table is gone. So now I'm going to do, I'm doing a, um, let's say an orders query. So I can show you, uh, I can show you a parameter here. And so I'm going to show table, adding the table here. And I'm going to show you this and drag all the fields and run. Okay. The freight, I know. The, okay, these are all my orders here. Actually, I see where I can do the, the freight. Okay, here's an example of a parameter query. So we want to know the order date. We want to query by the order date. So we want to get anything that was greater than. These are kind of old, but let's say greater than uh, anything in 95. Well, actually, um, Okay, here's how you do your, without doing a parameter, you do it like this. Greater than 1, 1, 1995. And so I have everything greater than 1, 1, 95. Now, if I want to make this a bit more dynamic, Now it says 95, 96. Okay, I have nothing earlier than that. So if I want to make this more dynamic, I could do a, uh, I could do a, a parameter box. Now I want to make sure that I, they have a date here. So enter, enter uh, order date. And our order date. And our order date. So when I run this, I'm getting a, a question box here. And our order date. We can also do this on a form with the dialog box. Okay, with a little bit different way, but asking about the same thing. But it's the same principle. Uh, we're asking a question. We're having it. Uh, the disadvantage of this is they click cancel. 
and then you don't know what to do next. But on the other one, like with a form, you could actually guide them to do the right thing. So here I'm going to enter order date and I'm saying, okay, one, one, uh, one, one, ninety six or ninety seven, ninety six. Okay, so it's saying my date is greater than 96. So let's see if it's equals. Enter a date. Enter a date. 3 1 1996. So it notice how it, it shows me the date I entered 1996. So we're good to go at that. So any questions, leave them in the comments below. Now, last but not least, we're talking about aggregated, aggreg aggregated versus uh, versus a uh, horizontal. In the last video, we, uh, I showed you, well, what happens, you know, how you make a calculation. Um, I'm going to get rid of all these fields here. Okay, I should just have these. Yeah, I do. Okay, good. So the freight. Okay, I have 830 of these. And actually, I want to sort this. Okay, now they're all sorted. If I want to add a row here, or yeah, I a column, let's say, I could just, uh, I could do that, and I could press insert on my keyboard, and bang, I entered, I added a column. So now I have freight uh, amount of increase. Is I'm going to update the freight. To, uh, here's my that's what my column's going to be called and point I'm up uh, this is going to be my increase a 10% increase so it's going to be increased by that by dollar 61 and I want to format this as a dollar sign so I'm going to do properties format currency and as I have all these different properties I could choose from. And I'll press alternate down arrow if you're wondering how I did this. It's just quicker than doing the, the drop down. You can do the same thing with that. Decimal places too. Now it looks nicer. Okay, so anyway, so 830 rows, my calculation is horizontal. It's showing a calculation based on, uh, based on all these, all these rows. So this row times 10%, this row times, what about a group by, a calculation group by? I can sum up, I want to see the total freight per each shipper. So for Speed Express, what was the total freight exp expended, the expense for that particular shipper? What about United Package? What about Federal Shipping? All that good stuff. So here I click on the little totals button. Great, thanks for telling me. And I get my happy face out of here. Um... I want to group. Okay, I am grouping by when you group, you're aggregating everything else. So I'm grouping by the shippers, and I want to get a total of their freight, whatever is in the is in the database table. And since this is a calculation, what will be the the total the total freight? Just a uh, roundabout. I want a ballpark estimate. 
and this doesn't have to be grouped by. Uh, since it's a calculation here, make it into an expression. Okay, notice I have all these different options for aggregation, but since it's a calculation, it's going to be an expression. And then I'm going to run this and get, get rid of those. I think I'll let, let Axis do the same thing. Axis will do it for me. Sum of the freight. Okay. It automatically hit, hit me. That's okay. So that's going to be my total amount of the increase. It'll be a ballpark of about a thousand sixteen hundred dollars if I increase the freight. Uh, increase this number by 10%, this number by 10%, this number. So I see, okay, my biggest expense was the United Package. So that's how we do advanced queries. And of course, I could save this if I need to, but I'm not in this video. Come back and see more of my videos. Uh, in this one, just a recap, we used, a, these are advanced queries. Uh, we use wildcards, um, parameter queries, uh, calculations, aggregated versus uh, row by row, multiple fields and criteria, multiple sort, multiple field sorts. So hopefully you got value out of this. If you did, make sure that you click the like button. And if you'd like me to handle your uh, your problem project or your next project, or if you just need some help. Uh, and look me up at lobocomservices.com. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.